Welcome to Overdrive. I'm Shireen Bhai. Now, 60 to 70,000 MUVs are sold in India every year, and this space has largely been dominated over the last couple of years by the Toyota Innova and the Chevrolet Tavera. M&M is all set to enter the race six years after launching the Scorpio. They've come out with the Zylo, their first multi-utility vehicle. Sirish gets your first look. Now, if you've got a keen eye for cars and are a regular on the Mumbai Pune Expressway, you might have seen this car going as fast as it possibly can, camouflage fluttering around in the wind. A lot of you have also sent us pictures. And you're right, this is the Mahindra Ingenio. Except it's not called the Ingenio anymore. It's called the Zylo. And we've finally taken off its covers. For over four years, engineers at Mahindra have been working on Project Ingenio. Over a hundred prototypes have been built and over a million kilometers have been clocked in testing, not just in India, but even as far as Sweden, Australia and even South Africa. So while the Zylo has the Innovas and Taveras firmly in its sights, another equally important aspect is success in world markets. Mahindra claim the platform of the Zylo is all new, that nothing is shared with the Scorpio. But sitting here behind the wheel, this immediately reminds me of the Scorpio I ran as a long-termer two years back. Everything has the same weighty feel, the steering is a little heavy, you need little effort to move the gears. But otherwise, it feels better than the Scorpio. The wheelbase is longer, the track is wider and it is shorter. So it's got better road holding, it's got better stability, it feels more planted, especially over these bad roads. It has got better ride quality too. In fact, it feels all around like a better Scorpio and that's a damn good thing. It might be branded M Eagle, but this is the same CRD unit from the Scorpio. It's a two and a half liter common wheel diesel that makes 112 horsepower and 240 newton meters of torque. Of course, we would have preferred the more powerful M Hawk engine, which is crucially 80 kilos lighter than this engine. But for most applications, this torquey engine is quite enough. best part of the Zylo, it doesn't have leaf spring suspension at the back. It's got proper coil springs and that not only gives it better ride quality, it also improves handling. Okay, Mahindra has never been known for making great handling cars and the Zylo is no different, but it is stable, it's competent and it doesn't do anything funny. And that's the most important thing in a car like this. So far, so good, but the Zylo isn't perfect. Look at it, the front end with those rounded contours and raised eyebrows will take a long time to digest. In fact, it looks like a cross between a Scorpio and an Innova and from every angle it looks like a generic MPV except for those running boards and slightly flared wheel arches. The designers at Mahindra paid a huge amount of attention to the interiors, an abnormally huge amount of attention and that's why it's come out extremely well. The quality of materials used is quite good. There's a multi-function display that has a slew of information including a compass, a barometer, it also gives you range, trip computer details and speed. And I love this two-tone finish, the black and the silver. Some versions get a chocolate brown which I don't like too much but how is this for attention to detail? Even the key fog is color coded. of the Zylo project, the first thing that was finalized were the interior dimensions and that makes the Zylo a very comfortable car. These second row captain seats are extremely comfortable and even at the back, three people can travel comfortably. The Zylo is sorted, no question about it. But its biggest trump card is its brilliant pricing. The base version that gets power steering, power windows, central locking and air conditioning costs 6.2 lakhs ex showroom in Delhi while the fully loaded version goes up to 7.7 .7 lakhs. 
and this is fabulous value for money especially when compared to the Innova whose equivalent version costs almost a lakh and a half more. Just wish we could get airbags and ABS on the Zylo. I'm not sugarcoating this in the least, but honestly, Mahindra have done a fabulous job with the Zylo. I was here in Nasik six years back when they launched the original Scorpio, and that car scared the life out of me. But Mahindra, they have learned from the mistakes, and with the Zylo, they have made no mistakes. This is a car that rides, it handles decently, has got a good engine, and has got very good interiors. In fact, the only reservation I have is with the styling. But then again, that's for you to decide. Well, the final verdict can only be reached when you pit the Zylo against the Innova. And you'll have that on the show very soon.